Hello and good morning. Today is uh, the last weekend of July and the first weekend, weekend of August. So the height of summer really, when I drew the plants, because I actually did draw, draw the plants because we had the chicken um, uh, enclosure and originally I was very worried and Nigel was very worried about rabbits and we thought we're gonna restrict the allotment side just to the enclosed sort of I don't know 10 by 8 meters space and um, obviously that never happened but um, when I drew my first plants the center of the plant was a, a square flower bed and everything all the vegetable beds were around it so from very first thought the flowers were pivotal to uh, the plants and for me I think there's a very personal reason I just wanted a place to look nice I want when obviously lovely rows of vegetables are something you know thing of beauty but I also wanted that kind of informal slightly messy um, center bed with lots of lovely flowers um, and which keep interest um, all year round I thought I might be doing lots of cut flowers but I have to say I'm quite mean um, when I come here I do some cut flowers for special occasions but actually I've got fairly fair amount of flowers in the garden and I just want the allotment to look nice uh, so when I'm coming here is that additional aesthetical reason to coming um, and um, we, we had different flowers in the spring we have spring bulbs in the main bed we have um, um, you know lupines and irises and tulips and aliens um, and lovely um, uh, oxydaisies and I have replaced that with more summery flowers later on but they, the flowers are actually all around um, the flowers are actually all around the allotment everywhere as companion planting as most people do but I just love it. I love them cascading down from, uh, you know, to be pr to be a proper. Um, I'm sorry. There's a noise. There's a footpath, and people are walking the dogs and having a jolly good time. Um, I, I want the flowers to be to, to be part of it. Almost form like a cottage garden um, um, setting. So let me just show you what we've got at the moment. So in the old sink there, we have some daisy-like flowers and I find the name of them quite popular at the moment. And any other rockery plants and they all flower really all season long. There's some yellow flowers, they attract bumblebees. And I, I have to say, besides everything else flowering, every single veg from time to time flowers, uh, you know, we love the unusual things which which um, flower the next thing I want to show you and at the moment we have emerging dahlias and uh, antirhinums I absolutely adore them some of them are absolutely self-seeded um, these are salvias that salvias viridi which uh, obviously was donated by um, a family member and that is uh, in the little box there is a hyssop and some of the little uh, aliums which obviously there is a bumblebee working on the hyssop as we speak um, the verbascums the bumblebees absolutely adore that um, there is different type of salvias and catmins but let me just show you here everything is flowering these are my little cacti plants just planted underneath of the box and they're quite happy flowering too. So the dahlias, the uh, Verbena bonariensis towering over everything else. Uh, let me just show you how pretty these things are. Um, I can't remember the names of them anymore. There is some zinnias interplanted. 
proper wonderful mess but I absolutely love it so what else we have flowering beside the beans um, <laughs> everywhere uh, but this cascade of the beautiful nasturtiums and everything else what is going into seed is flowering at the moment uh, but we have very tall uh, Russian um, very tall Russian uh, sunflowers which are yet to show the heads but underneath this all underplanted with a tiny little yellow sunflower it's multi-headed and I have been um, cut flowered some of these these are absolutely beautiful my favorite will grow them again so this is the bed this is the same bed from this side obviously the cosmos just about to open and I think these are the very very dark uh, cosmos from um, Sarah Raven and these basic verbascums these are from Chilton seeds I had very sort of dusky pink flowering much earlier so that made a lovely sort of contrast and difference and having them flowering um, at a different times on this side I do have a lovely lavender hedge and again bumblebees and I think even my honeybees quite like it well there's a bumblebee on it now but I have seen my bees uh, working them as well um, and these were actually a 199 for I think six from Lidl and all it says is English lavender as it was for the allotment I thought I can't resist the bargain and underneath of that uh, uh, soft fruit bed there is a um, Rosa Mundi which st stopped flowering is one of the oldest varieties uh, but I hope it will reflower it's got some new shoots I need to deadhead it again as you can see things sow themselves and because they had flowers in it I didn't actually empty that bed but I will it's my nursery bed I'm hoping to, <laughs> to do that so lots of self-sown poppies in my herb bed as well as um, sunflowers and we have little yellow ones and those kind of pale multicolored multi headed well I love these from the last year I had I will reorder these these are absolutely fantastic um, smaller uh, sunflowers in this bed let's have a look at it from the other side so this is the herb bed but we have nasturtiums interplanted here and um, poppy seeds which I didn't sow obviously they came with the topsoil um, and I think marjoram is flowering now and more of those lovely um, lovely sunflowers which look at the end of them absolutely beautiful now this is one of the outside square beds all my square beds are flower beds and well there's a whole lot of different dahlias here they were mainly purchased from I think they were sort of on offer in the local garden center and well what can you say to that they absolutely stunning and um, what else we have here we have some more salvias which barely barely <laughs> reach the top I will save these salvias for next year and put them in more prominent place uh, other different kind of more subtle dahlias another paler salvia coming out on the side because it's really competing for light with these very healthy looking dahlias some dill flowering I want them to because um, I use them for pickle and some gladioli I never thought I'm gonna plant the gladioli it seems very very old-fashioned thing to do but I really <laughs> quite like it so going back to the sort of symmetrically placed another bed so what we've got here we've got 
the sweet peas and we've got cascades of nasturtiums I can't get enough of these nasturtiums but we also have zinnias uh, very pretty little zinnias and masses of nicotianas and obviously dahlias competing for space um, let me walk around it there is another dahlia just popping out there I quite like white dahlias um, and some different type of zinnias actually the zinnias will pop quite nicely very soon they have lots of buds on them and you can see some of them I'll cut the heads off they will they will they will sprout more flowers and um, yes sweet peas we cut constantly but we need to do some more cutting today I think this is the first of the cosmos starting flowering <laughs> and also all my cucumbers are interplanted I think it might have been a little bit of a mistake because I have nowhere to walk I've got not more nasturtiums interplanted with cucumbers they will bring flowers to sort of later on in the season because they I started them much much uh, later so where others might be sort of fading a bit and obviously grown this year from the seeds I didn't expect them to actually flower this year but we've got some hollyhocks uh, lots of buds on them so that's a bonus because I'm hoping they're gonna seed themselves what I really want to say is that flowers makes me happy and I like the space to be pretty as well as productive I do feel for people who have allotments and they have restrictions on how many flowers they can plant. Uh, I think uh, they're so important to our well-being as any kind of forms of gardening. And on that lovely note, I would like to leave you and wish you a really lovely weekend and uh, hope I see you next week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.